Welcome back, Ives. Hey, Rob. Yeah, welcome back. We're uh, still in this watery upside down land. And looks like it, the coast is clear now. Yeah, the guys left. So let's see if we can drop down. That's pretty high. I, I would imagine that would shatter an ankle. Yeah. I don't remember. Ooh, you did the switch too. It's raining men. <laughs> it really is <laughs> raining men. <laughs> oh, they made squishy, slappy, fleshy sounds. I don't like it. I think they like you, though. Yeah. I got my army of dudes back. <laughs> well, let's lead them all to their death. Um, are they dead or are they live? It no looks idea. like the one there has like he looks like his head's fallen off a little bit. They're hard to see though. Yeah. All right, there's a button away above us. Do the jumpy do. Wee. I can't get up high enough. I think. You got no ups. Nope. You can do it. You can do it. No. Maybe you can't do it. I think there's something we need to move. Let's close off. <laughs> Just throw one of them at the glass. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I think you can do that jump. You can do that jump. Some of them are deformed, right? Yeah, they definitely look a little wonky to me. I don't know. There's nothing here. There, there's that lighty, switchy looking thing. You could do it. I believe you. I believe you can do the thing. Use your double jump. <laughs> there's no way. Yeah, there's just no way to reach it. I must have missed something then. Hmm. And maybe you can, um... Do a uh, that water switch thing again, and it does something else. I think that was a one-time deal. A one-time switch. Hey, there's one dead guy on the floor there. I'm still not sure if they're all dead. I think they are. Dude, I think they, ugh, there might just be parts on the floor too. <laughs> have, have jump jumpy do on the switch. All right. Remember they can toss you? <gasps> Neat. <laughs> Four parts, dude. God, that sucks. Ooh, oh, he has I no feelings. Jump in the water here. Yeah. Yep. You're so smart. We can do the problem solvents. Oh, do you want to talk about the escape room? Okay, so yeah. I just went to an escape room. End of story. <laughs> <laughs> went to an escape room over the weekend, and uh, it was really fun. It was made up like a dorm room style. And, uh... I saw pictures of it. It looked great. Yeah, and, um... There were a bunch of, like, locks and key combinations you had to figure out. And it was, it was, they give you an hour to do it. They give you a brief, brief explanation beforehand of, like, what you can and cannot interact with. Well, they, they put you in, like, a really hard room. They had a couple rooms with different, like, star levels, I guess, of challenge. Yeah. And, uh, did, do they base that challenge off of how many people you're with? Or um, like what you were, what you guys request. Honestly, I'm not sure if it's based off of that. Um, but it, it was, it was themed to be like sp spooky, scary. Spooky, scary. Were there skulls everywhere? They're actually. Or brew men? There were snakes and and stuff in one of the wardrobes that we Did opened. Did you see a wolfman? No wolfman. A wom vampire. With some ghosts. There nice. Good job, dude. Um. But it, they made the room, like, purposely very dark. Nice. So we had to use our cell phone, like, 
flashlights to like e- even see and read the clues. Would you call it makeout lighting? Yeah, it was definitely makeout lighting. And it was all dudes, wasn't it? Oh, no, I just Oh no, Marianne went, right? I just ate it. Are you dead? Yep. Aw, poopy pants. But well, how many people did you go with? There were six of us in total. And everyone except me had done an escape room before, so there we had some experienced right, people in our going. group, which helped a lot because I think I was like over analyzing some of the clues. Your video game brain. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. That that's the hole, right? Yeah, that's the hole I fell into. Yeah, no wonder you fell. It's really <laughs> definitely would have missed it. All right, I'm gonna do a practice jump the other way first. All right. All right, cool. I feel comfortable with the joke, the jumping mechanic. So now watch me fall into this hole. <laughs> Good luck. Um. Nice. Bye, friends. <laughs> <laughs> you found the computer room. Yeah, this place is cool. Look at this. Oh wow. So in the escape room, we had to. I guess that hole's safe now. We had 60 minutes to solve it, and every clue led to an- another clue. Nice. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Get me in that hole. Um, you were telling me a little bit about it before, and it sounded like all the clues were very sequential. Like, as soon as you solve one, it immediately just goes to the next one. You don't use parts from one earlier on. Right. So, for example, there were, like, a bunch of empty DVD Ow. cases that were numbered. <laughs> My ankles just exploded. Like, there was one that was, like, 12 monkeys. There was one that was 21 grams. Oh, so they used actual DVDs. Actual DVD cases, yeah. Uh-oh. And oh, okay. there was only one DVD case that had no number associated with it. So we opened that one up, and we found a postcard inside, which is our next clue. Mm-hmm. Um, and then inside of like the books, inside of the dictionary, we found like a key that opened one of the locks that gave us another clue. So like each thing oh, unlocked a little bit more <laughs> Hello, of the puzzle. Ch- Hello, folks. And eventually we had all the pieces to like unlock the door, which we thought would, would bring us to freedom. Mm-hmm. Like we thought we just need to get Wait out of this one room. But instead, it opened it up to a whole nother room. That's, what, that's exactly what just happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely thought I was on a whole nother level. And we were so psyched, too, because we were like, oh, we did this in thir- with 30 minutes left. Like, we're, we're geniuses. We get to this next room. We're like, oh, shit. We've got a lot more to go. And how on fire was that room? Um, it wasn't so much on fire, but there was uh, like a fan in the corner of the room that was like blowing that had all sorts of weird shapes on it and you had to it had like a strobe effect so you had to make out what the shapes and the, and the <laughs> color combinations were glass. Uh, yeah I don't think that's going to work so well for you <laughs> <laughs> let's all take the elevator does it only go down? I don't know we're going to find out no I don't want to jump guys <laughs> is there an activate button? I think the X button there it goes um you you were telling me that you were like very successful in getting out of that room like just under the wire. Yeah. Well, once we got into the second room, um, it became more complex because they give you a whiteboard to write down like notes and stuff on because right. it's hard to keep track of all these numbers and like symbols in your head. How do I? But the whiteboard was in the first room, so we had to keep going back and forth oh. between rooms to write down the, no- the the clues and the notes that we had. Oh, okay. And <laughs> that took time. So basically it was just like frantic, like, all right, we're running out of time now. Right. We need to like coordinate and like figure these things out together more. Well, because in the very beginning, you're all like, you're, you're like spread out. You're like, all right, everyone look for like something in the corner of the room. And I kind of kicked myself too, because they had a bed in the room and there was a clue in the bed that I missed. Really? Where there was like a... Sh- sh- it was all black slats underneath the mattress. Except for this one stripe, white oh, so stripe. You really tore the, the bed apart then. Yeah. And I thought the white stripe was just like, whatever. Because <clears throat> at the beginning of 
the escape room, they told us like you can't really dismantle anything. So I was like, well, if I that move kind the of slats, feels like dismantling it. Yeah, yeah. If I move the slats, that would be dismantling. Like even taking the mattress off of the the frame feels like yeah dismantling to me. But it turned out that that white stripe was part of a number, and you flip all the slats over and reorganize them. It turned into a combination that we needed in order to open one of the locks. Ooh, creepy. So am I in Westworld? It it was very like mind fucky kind of puzzle um, solving. Ah, oh, okay. Oh. It's just it's it's just Steve. <laughs> Steve, Dave. He gets a little drunk at work sometimes. He's fine. He's not gonna hurt you. <laughs> he's just doing his laps. <laughs> That's like the other kid that's that's in this world who never escaped and he's grown up and yeah. What are y'all We're just at? uh, what are we doing, guys? Is this like the aquarium? We're just gonna. I don't get it. I knew I could jump here. Guys, I found this cart, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna knock the phone off this cart, guys. Alright, can I... Can I just start throwing punches? Maybe you have to push that back somewhere? I don't think I can get over the grating. Let's find out. It seems like... Oh, there's, there's a ladder, ladder right there. Come back, cart. <laughs> There you go. I push the button. You found the control board. I jump on the button. <laughs> I swing on the thing you do. Oh, wow. Can you climb it? Uh, maybe. I didn't think about that. Uh, maybe I have to climb that pipe that's there. That's well yeah. lit. This is very reminiscent of Westworld to me, even though this came out well before Westworld. <laughs> yeah. Definitely looks like the underground like facility area. Yeah. Let's take the elevator down to the unused uh What do they call them in that? I forgot. They're not not androids, I guess. No, they're um Shibanetics. What are they called? I forgot. Hosts. Yeah. They're hosts. They're hosts. Um This game definitely got way more ominous. The music definitely got way more ominous, too. Well, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Oh, I want to see what's over here first before I go down there. Your death. It might be. It might just be a wall. <laughs> um, I, I've never done the escape room, but it always looked like something I would love-hate. It's... I think, I think with the right group of people, you, ex you enjoy it, but with the wrong group of people, it's miserable. Exactly. I think that's something I would have to... Like the group that you went with, like Marianne and AJ and, and Austin and Matt and Jeff and, and, and Sean and whoever the fuck else. Um, it was like six people, eight people you went with? Yeah. A group of, of problem solvers. I think that would be really enjoyable, but like... Yeah. Do you think I should check down there? I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. <laughs> okay. It might just be death though. But it was funny. I can't imagine doing an escape room with somebody who like hates puzzles. Yeah, that's true. It's funny because after we finished the escape room, like we left and we're like, our brains were still in like puzzle mode, so we we're like walking <laughs> around Queens, like maybe that number means something. We should try. <laughs> you all became conspiracy theorists. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, what do you think? Should I try it? You can try it. I don't know if you're going to survive that, that fall. I've, I've gone through plenty of falls already where my ankle should have just exploded underneath my weight. I'm going to try it. Oh my god. Nice. Can I... Where is that? <gasps> oh, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> is that, this thing seems like it should have one of those like backing up bus sounds like beep, beep. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Just when you think you have all the mechanics of this game figured out, like you think it's just jumping and climbing, it throws something really cool at you. Yeah. Like that submarine, that was great. Yeah. I have to admit that it, it fascinates me how game developers come up with some of these like level designs and puzzles and stuff because I would never think in a million years 
and out of something so simple too. Yeah. Like this, this like same people who made this word made Limbo, and right. Limbo was pretty much exactly the same as far as the mechanics went, where it's just like walk and jump. That's it. That's all you get. Yep. Every now and then, from time to time, you might interact with a box or a piece of string. Yeah. You did it. And like I am. I'm deeply invested. I really want to know where this game goes. And uh, and we we were only get given like very very little information too. Because really? I feel like we've been given very little. Information. We don't know who this kid is that we're playing as. We don't know who. Oh my God, I'm t I'm gonna let something out. You're, that gonna, I unleash, let you're, out. you're gonna unleash the megalodon. 